The fact is, the gasatos is really just a way of involving the groom a little bit more. I mean, let's face it, the bride's been the centre of attention all day, and this is the time for the groom to get a little bit of that attention. But it doesn't necessarily have to involve the garter. Just be a little bit creative. If the bride tosses her bouquet, well, why can't the groom just toss his boutonniere? Or what about his armband? I mean, that's a little bit like a, a garter, isn't it? And let's face it, um, the lucky bachelor who catches the armband is certainly going to have some use out of it, certainly more use out of it than he would out of a carter, <laughs> unless he's that way inclined. <laughs> um, it's all about being creative. The balloon garter drop. Now this is a really good one, but you really do need to have high ceilings for it. The way it goes is this. The bride's garter, which may or may not have been worn by the bride, gets put into a small blown up balloon. And then this, as well as a whole lot of other small blown up balloons, get put into a huge balloon. And this gets suspended up from the high ceiling. Then the groom comes along. He can still have his little dance or his little performance, whatever he wants, but he comes along with a big stick with a pin on the end. And all the, all the bachelors are down below waiting and he reaches up and he pops the balloon and so all the small balloons come tumbling down. All the um, bachelors are just going mad now, going around trying to find the balloon with, with the garter in it because, you know, that's, that's the prize. And it's really fun. Everybody can get involved. And the best part of all is the bride gets to sit back, relax, and just let the boys get on with it. This is something else you can do. The groom has a basket full of garters, which he hands out to every bachelor at the reception. And he also has a basket of roses, which he hands out to all the young ladies at the reception. Yes, it is more expensive, but it's really sweet and nobody gets left out. Nobody feels left out. Now this is sweet. If the groom is totally adamant that he must be throwing something at the reception, then why not throw sweets? It could be the little um, wrapped up chocolate kisses. Everybody loves those. Or even, even the bonbonniers, if they are small chocolate bonbonniers. They could be small trinkets, stuffed toys, even gift cards. That way everyone is involved and everyone gets really excited about it. If you still like the idea of the garter toss, but you just aren't keen on the public removal part of the garter, well then why not just do that bit in private beforehand and then you can still have the toss afterwards. It's really up to you and what makes you feel comfortable. But how about making it a little more interesting? Like pinning some cash to the garter or a gift card and then involving everyone in the catch, not just the bachelors. The main thing to remember is that traditions aren't rules that can't be broken. They change and develop. So make them suit you and your guests. Make them interesting and have fun. Thanks for watching and please do give us a like by clicking on that like button. I'd really appreciate it. If you think this video was helpful or if you have any questions, leave some comments for me. I'd love to help you as much as possible.